Uh, <laughs> who knew? Okay, well, uh, unbeknownst to me, um, I'm doing my first solo right now. I had no idea this was happening. He's like, okay, let's make the next one a full stop. Oh, okay, let's make it a full stop. So we're going, and I'm thinking, okay, we're gonna go and park. He's like, oh, pull into the pull into the gate where we do the run up, and I'm like, okay, Marines coming over. Oh, so maybe they're just like quick turn around. They just want to get the plane up in the air again or whatever. Um, no, I'm doing my first solo. Riley just jumped out. He's standing over there now. So I'm gonna say that we're lining. Uh, we're gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna say we're. I'm gonna say we're taxing to hold short of two seven on Echo. Huh. What are the odds? Victor Oscar Tango, uh, taxing to hold short of 27 on Echo. Go Victor Oscar Tango, San Luis City, Roger Runway 2. Are, are you going back to 09? No, Roger Runway 27, the wind 080 at 7, gutsing 15, altimeter 3000. Uh, Victor Oscar Tango will actually cross 27, and yeah, I'll taxi for 09. Victor Oscar Tango, Roger Runway 09, and uh, is it for circuit? It's for one circuit, Victor Oscar Tango. Roger. Okay. Um, altimeter 3000, that's set properly. Uh, don't have a squat co, but we'll get one when we get over there. And uh, let's go for a nice long taxi. All right, here we go. <laughs> this is just, this is crazy. This is both Madness and Sparta. Victor Oscar Tango crossing 27. Roger. Uh, Will? <laughs> did not expect this. I did not expect this. Wow. I probably could have taken off of 2-7. Um, but it's really gusty and stuff, so screw it. Let's just hurry and get the circuit over with so I can get back on the ground before the wind gets any worse. <laughs> I mean, I'm doing a solo flight, right? I mean, this is this is what's happening right now. A warning would have been nice, but it, like I've been saying in the past, I've been asked about this my first soul, and I said, you know what? If uh, if they think I can do it, then I believe I can do it. You know, if they're comfortable with me doing it, then that means that I can do it. They're not going to let me do a solo without uh, being confident that I'm not going to leave a massive crater or destroy their airplane. Let's just stop at the hold short. Let's play this nice and safe. So I'm going to say I'm holding short of 09 on Alpha. Now we're not going to go all the way down there and do stuff. Forgot to turn that back on. Kamloops Radio Golf Victor Oscar Tango is holding short of 09 on Alpha. Victor Oscar Tango, Roger, you can line up the part. Your discretion. Roger, my discretion and squat code still okay? Um, actually, Squawk 5562, five, although I might not get you, it's just one circuit. 5562, five, Victor Oscar Tango. Okay, here we go. Line up my discretion. So, uh, everything's good. Flaps are nerve, car peeps in, fuels at both. Um, let's go line up. Entering the runway. Hit the Squawk code, landing lights on. Let's go for a flight. Pray the winds don't blow me to salmon arm or something. And salmon arm is lovely and everything, but I want to be—I want to land at Camloops right now. Okay, here we go. Line up on the center line. Bit of power. Get lined up. All right, full power. Here we go. Bit of back pressure. Make sure we're not bumping around too much. Bit more right rudder. I'm in the air. Feeling that gust though. All right, bit of trim. Start having to push forward a little bit. Actually, I probably don't need to. Oh yeah, I kind of do need to. Stay lined up at the runway. The winds are mercifully calm right now. Fourteen hundred. We're turning around sixteen, seventeen hundred feet. Get the wind back, wing back over there. Perhaps a touch more trim. 1600. All right, we're going to turn crosswind. Check traffic, traffic, check no traffic. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to keep my right rudder in there. I'm just going to turn the wings to neutralize the ailerons and then coordinate with the rudder. Hopefully.
Only if Riley sees us afterwards, he'll comment on whether I did that right or not. Ooh, it's not really climbing. Gotta pull back on the nose a bit. Gotta step up, up in the air a bit more. All right, that feels pretty good. Let's level it off. That was way too late. All right, we're approaching circuit altitude. Let's level off with attitude. Pull the power back. Quick check, let's turn down wind. Oh, starting to feel some bumps. Oh wait, no, keep it coordinated. There we go. Do that, and then do that, and then a little bit far out on my crosswind leg. Kind of over the mountains, which is gonna make things extra bumpy. Alrighty, downwind checks once we're stable. We're roughly stable, so T's and P's in the green, primer master mags. The lights are as they need to be. Carb heat out, we've got the power, we've got fuel at the boat, we've got brake pressure, we've got doors. I'm buckled in, all my stuff's secure. Big Rusker Tango, downwind 09, full stop. Big Rusker Tango, Roger. I must remember that final call too. Every once in a while I get so busy thinking about uh, Landing, I forget to actually tell the radio, hey, I'm landing. All right, so we're gonna go flaps 10 once we get to the threshold. That's there, go flaps 10. Oop, push into that. Slow it down, gonna put some trim in here, make my life a bit easier. There we go. I mean, so far, so good. But hey, like I say, taking off is optional, landing is mandatory. All right, let's get ready to make our base turn. Turning base, so we're gonna pull the power to 1500, let the nose dip, that's kind of all over the place. There we go, and we're gonna turn base. Neutralize the ailerons, keep it coordinated with the rudders. Coordination's all over the place, that's because it's gusty out. A little bit. I think I'm a little bit far out, actually. I just heard a small warning horn, but apparently I'm just hallucinating. Let's go flaps 20. This one's going to be a pretty low, but I'm actually not mad at that. I'm a little bit low right now. Let's get ready to turn final here. Add a little bit of power, I think. Alright, let's turn final. Let's do it. Let's turn final. So, neutralize the ailerons. Let the plane turn. Victor Oscar Tango turning final zero 09, full stop. Victor Oscar Tango, Roger. Alright, so I am <laughs> turned way too early. So let's get level, and I'm going to slip over there. So I'm going to dip my wing, keep the rudder in, a bit more power, flaps 30. Okay, dip the wing, there we go. So dip in the wing, kind of slide, just trying to slide over this way. Continuing to try to slide over this way. It's working, it's working! There we go. All right, that looks pretty good. Wind, ooh, bit of a bit of a bump there. A little bit low, it's gonna add some power. A little bit slow as well, so I'm gonna push the nose down a little bit. A little bit more power. That's a little bit better. Pull the power out a little bit so we don't get too fast. The windsock is looking pretty good. Ooh, ooh. That was. Our lift and then a dump. Super low right now, I'm gonna add some more power. Keep the aim at the runway, we're actually relatively straight right now. Go that way slightly, there we go. Getting ready to pull the power. Now for the exciting part, ooh wow, I feel like we just got pushed up in the air there. Pull the power nice and gentle. Pull the cruise. Pull nose up. That was too much, a bit of power. Ooh, got a big balloon there, a bit of power. All right, let it set, ooh, let it settle. Okay, let's get back over the center line here. All right, slowly pull the power back, keep that nose up. No, oh, that was too much. Slowly pull the power back. Ooh! Oh my goodness, I'm still bouncing. That's okay, keep that nose off, keep that nose off. Alright, we're gonna get back to the center line, release the pressure. Ooh, that was not the landing I was hoping for. <laughs> Everything was great until the landing, but I am alive. I just did my first solo and I lived, so... I mean, it can't be all bad, right? Victor Oscar Tango is rolling for Echo. Victor Oscar Tango, Roger. 
So have a good hang Roger. Okay. Well, that was the whole thing. Now we're just going to pull back. Congratulations, Paul. Appreciate it. Good job. I'm not totally sure why they were congratulating me because I had about five landings there. I wonder if I can count that all as landings. I should ask if I can count that. I can count all those bounces as landings in my logbook. I'm pretty sure that was like three or four, land three or four landings right there. So that was the whole thing. Uh, the landing was pretty rough. I was talking with Riley about it afterwards, and normally I think it would probably would have been a go around because I was pretty un good. But uh, I'm alive. Uh, any landing you walk away from is a good landing in my book, so. We'll call it good. You know what? You know what? One thing I don't do enough of is celebrate my victories. Um, just in general, I don't really. So I'm gonna go get a donut. I really shouldn't get a donut because I'm trying to lose weight. But meh. Okay, bye. Oh, time down. Crap. Uh, Twelve. Oh. Six, let's call it five. Call twelve oh five. Dang it. Didn't know my time down. Or my time up. Dang it. Twelve oh must be crap. Five crap.